Hi, I'm Mike Clark. I'm the putter fitting specialist here at the Precision Golf uh, facility here in Weybridge in Surrey. Um, just want to go over two very common talked about categories of putters, uh, face balance putters and toe hang putters. It's often something that comes up in fittings. Uh, what sort of uh, putter style should I use? A lot of people think they're dependent on your stroke shape. Um, that's not strictly true. It's a little bit of an overly simplistic idea. Um, what we do in our stroke is very individual, so the putter that we choose should be very individual. Now, as I said, there are two types of putters, generally speaking. Face balance putters, and face balance putters are defined that when you hold the shaft level with the, the floor, the putter face is also level with the floor. Now, this is an effect basically down to how the shaft has been attached and configured into the head. And you can see with this face balance mallet from Odyssey here, that the shaft axis actually goes in line with the center of mass. So basically it's like a, a balanced seesaw. Now that means that any force that we apply to the head is in line with the center of mass. So that when we swing it, and if I take a, a little exercise here, when we swing it and I apply a force towards the camera here, you'll see that the putter doesn't twist. And if I apply it sort of towards the target so the camera can see if I apply it away, it doesn't twist. And if I apply it towards the, hoe, towards the target, it doesn't twist. So <clears throat> that's the first style of putters. And people often think that you must use one of those if you have a, uh, a straight back and through stroke. The other type of putter that we'll see here, and I've got two examples um, of two toe hang or toe heavy putters, some people call them. Um, we've got one with about 45 degrees of toe hang and one that's sort of closer to 70, 75 degrees of toe hang. Now that is again due to where the hosel actually is attached to the head and how that center of mass is now slightly offset. You can see quite clearly here that the shaft enters the head very slightly heel side of the center of mass. So if we do that same little test and just let the club fall on my fingers there, we get about 45 degree of toe hang. And so if we take the Del Mar from the Scotty Cameron range, which literally only came in this morning, the new model, you can see how because the hosel is much closer to the heel, there's much more of the toe out to the side of it. And obviously that's going to apply a torque to the, the shaft. So when I droop it there or let go of the torque that I was applying to the, to the shaft, the toe naturally drops down. Now, as I said, with the face balance putters, where the force, when we're applying the predominant force in plane is in line with the shaft, the face doesn't twist. If we look at one of the toe hang putters and do the same thing, so I'll push, pop a T-peg into the top here, just so that I'm not influencing it at all, and take another T-peg. Now when I apply that force away from the target, you'll see that the putter is twisting. It's very difficult to do without influencing it. But you can see, as I apply a force, now because the force is now offset from where the center of mass is, it does start to rotate. If I do that towards the camera, it effectively lags behind, okay? So remember, when we're applying a force in the stroke, it's the predominant force is an in-plane force. So when we're choosing a putter, <clears throat> what we're looking for with toe hang is to match the toe hang to the torque profile, the rotational profile that the player has. So with toe hang, if you have a tendency to leave the putter out to the right and you have a toe hang putter, a face balance putter might suit you a little better. If you have a tendency to over-rotate the face, and you have a face balance putter, a toe hang putter might affect. But it is very individual to the, to the player. I and mean, when you say it, it's not a guarantee that it's going to affect it, but there is a definite chance that it could. And I hope that covers face balance and toe hang putters quite clearly for you. And it's definitely something that we look at during the fits here at Precision Golf.